Hey guys, what's up? It's Aaron with the Detail Coat. Do you have a dirty car? Well, reach out to us. We have a few mobile trucks where we can come to you, and we do have a shop as well. So book your appointment at thedetailco.com. Use the code DELOCICO23 and receive 10% off. See y'all later. Hey everybody, it's your boy Loser Lou. It's uh, December 7th, like 67 degrees outside. It's actually pretty early. It's 9 o'clock on the dot, 8.58. I usually, you know, you you know me. I'm a, I'm a night owl, so usually I don't get started till like ten o'clock. But uh, I guess I'm trying to change my ways. I've had I've had a lot go down in the past couple couple days. I've been I've been pimp pimping down for like seven days straight. Been out of work. Been been sick with the flu. It's uh, it's been a rough fucking week. Uh, well, other than that bullshit, I'm sitting with some homies tonight. What up, off top? Uh, what up, though, everybody? Yo, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you, brother? Hey, you want to get a hold of me? You can follow hey. me on Facebook and Instagram. Hey, don't be afraid, don't be afraid to get close to the mic, too. Oh yeah, no. If they want to follow me, they can find me on Facebook, Instagram, a little bit of TikTok, but we on there for sure. And we also got a site if you want to, you know, go the whole legit way. www.offtoptakingoff.com. That take you straight to our site where you can, you know, get with the movement, with the drip, with the all of that, you know. But if they want to find us, they can find us at Off Top Taking Off on Instagram and Facebook. You'll find two Facebook pages, Off Top Big Cartel and Off Top Taking Off. You can add either one. You will be locked in on both. Shh, there it is, brother. And what's up, what's up, Reek? How you doing today? Shit, I'm good. It's, a, it's your man, Reek. It's Grimy Reek. Uh, shit, I, I, don't, I don't promote nothing but bro shit. Shit, you trying to see me pop out. You might pop out of his shit. You'll see me out there. Shh, I love that support, bro. Thank you, thank you. Well, um, <clears throat> as you can tell, I'm still sick of shit. Like, oh, I don't sound too great. But, you know, got to keep it rolling. I got to keep doing things that I like to do. And this is one of my favorite things to do, sit around and talk to my homies about what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> 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 and you see, like, uh, I, I, this is this is a special episode for me because, you know, I, I, I met off top, like, through my job job. I don't want to talk about my job job because my job fucking sucks. But like, <laughs> but it was cool being able to connect with someone. And then what, 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 what we were, it was, it was, a, it was a 420 event like two years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was, a, it was a 420 event two years ago at a man. What's the name of that shop? Uh, Bear Root. There we go. Bear Roots right there on San Pedro road. Uh, to my boy Trevor running the Bear Roots, but they got two locations. Y'all pop out, follow them on Instagram as well. Bear <laughs> Let's go. So, you know, I'm sitting there and I, I look across the way. I see off top. I was like, hey, I've made some of his hats before. Let me go say what's up. <laughs> and then I, lo- I love it. I love just randomly bumping into you wherever. Like, I know, I know just a few weeks ago when we discussed, you know, chopping, setting this up. What like maybe a month or month month two months ago? Yeah, it was like two months ago. I want to say right before in September. It was in September. Yeah, it was it was Virgo season. That's right. Yes, sir. I know. Like, uh, you know, I walked into the gas station. I look up and I was just like, "Oh shit, it's off top." <laughs> you can find me in the random. <laughs> look for the car. <laughs> <coughs> so let's get around. What, what 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 you got going on? I always see you throwing these events. Yeah, man. I'm. I'm hosting more and more events this year. It's probably one of my best years with hosting events. I hosted a lot. I can't even really count at the moment, but it say at least be about 10, 10 good events this year. Uh, We just recently did our uh, Friendsgiving block party downtown at Mexicana Cafe where we had live entertainment for our first time with a car show, live entertainment. We had Southside Hoodland come out to rock the show for San Antonio. Man, he came out there and did his thing. We had a few issues with the DJ. He went a cappella with it and did not let up on him. The crowd was loving him. Shout out to him. Shout out to Bank House Records for coming out with their whole group and knocking it down with us. It was beautiful. We got over a thousand cans donated from people in the community that that care about the cause. That's badass, bro. And we got we got to our mark. We won a thousand cans. It was a rainy day. We didn't think we was gonna get there. We got there. We got there with the help of everybody, our sponsors, our vendors, and as well, Southside, Hulam. Everybody put the word out. People came down, donated. They even came, donated, and left. 
this was something they had on their agenda for the day. <laughs> <laughs> so we was happy for that. So that just passed recently. Uh, and we got a toy drive coming up December 16th. We partnered up with True Vision Church off Ackerman on the northeast side. They wanted to bring in and incorporate a car show with their first community event to let people know, hey, we want to bring our community together and we want to do it the right way. Let's start in December to where all the family can be involved, not just, you know, uh, adults and and kind of things like that, but they want the whole family to be involved. Everybody get a gift. Everybody can share and do what they need to do. So this event, December 16th, is be a toy drive and auto show where you can come up there and donate toys or um, funds and benefits to help fund and buy more toys for kids and needs at a time. Everything will be donated. If you're looking for it, we will have it recorded and post pictures of our donations once we donate the toys over. But that's our next event coming up December 16th from 2 to 6 p.m. We will be doing the Cars for Christ, Cars for Christmas. It's a play on words. It's called Cars for Christmas, but it's a dash right at the end of Christ. So it's, you know, Cars for Christ, Cars for Christmas. <coughs> A little play on words, but it's Word something play. to kind of, you know, make people feel happy about it. Yeah. It's not just a church thing, but churches want to be involved as well. Don't just isolate them because oh, they're religious in what they do and what they do. They still a part of the community. They still want to help. You don't have to go to the church to, to attend any of the events. They'll love more people and more followers, but they still just want to connect. That's all. That's how everybody want to do is connect a little. Hey man, that's mad love that you actually teamed up with the church and you you know you're doing it like that. Yeah, no, nah, shout out to my homeboy Mike, Michael Caraway. He put that together for me. He was the middleman in play. We all came together and made this a whole thing. Yes, sir. So what what do you have anything else going on for this year or is that's the last event for the year? See, uh I already host too many shows during the winter time because I don't want to bring people out of a warm comfort spot to come kick it with me. You feel me? It ain't going to be a bad time, but I like people to be as comfortable as possible. You feel me? And you got to come out in the cover to kick it with me. That's the way you like to feel comfortable. That's all right. But I don't feel comfortable bringing you out of your comfort. So nah, man, that's, that's fair enough, man. Yes. I don't do too many things in the winter, but in the springtime, summer, fall, we outside with the cars, man. We 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 in y'all face with it. We got the merch going, everything. So our next thing we doing in springtime is hosting another legal burnout pit. What 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 is that? A burnout burnout pit, burnout box, legal pit is where where you got that foot in your you got that itch in your foot. You gotta <laughs> just go a hundred miles. You gotta do a donut. You gotta burn a little rubber. You gotta drift. You go, you just can't hold it. Some people do it for sports. Some people do it for fun. We do it for it all. We want we want to see it. We want to judge it. We want to give y'all something for it, and we and we love it. That's 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 what the car community is about. It's all things cars. It's not you feel me. What type of cars? What your car can really do? You feel me? Yeah. So we host those type of events for people to burn rubber. You know, they let out a lot of frustration, a lot of built up stuff doing that. You feel me? You get behind that wheel, it's just you. Yeah. You, and you feel it. You see the crowd hyping you up and stuff like that. You just love it. It's something that's a drilling pack that will never die down, no matter if they're making these electric cars, man. This is never going to stop. And since it's never going to stop, I want to help supply the demand. And if the demand is I want to burn these tires up <laughs> drifting, I will give you a spot. I will pay for that spot. The only thing you got to do is pay a small fee to get in, and you can do whatever you want. But that's what a burnout and legal pit is, is where people go drift, burn their tires, have fun. It's a big party. But the main thing is to bring your skills, bring your A game, and have fun in this open lot where it's safe and controlled. It's not on the streets, not on your corner, your house, none of that. It's not people getting, you feel me, shot at or ran, running from the police in your neighborhood. This is in a controlled area with barriers, waivers, contracts, and all that. The whole nine for people to have legit safe fun and possibly win some money if you the best. <laughs> you the best. Dude, that's 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 awesome, bro. That's cool that you that's cool you got everything organized like that. I mean it sounds good, but it's 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 hard in the field when you when you doing it. It's, it's it I can organize it, but it still take a lot more once you once you in there because you gotta you gotta do a lot. You gotta get barriers, you gotta get 
acceptance. You got to make sure people understand that we is going to have a good time because people are skeptical. So they got to make sure this is the move. This is what they want to do. So you can have it all planned out in your head, but that don't mean it's going to go as planned. So yeah. you got to put a little footwork in it, get in their face, and let them know we turning up. <laughs> we trying to take off, man. You know it, man. And, hey, and that's off top. And I see, I've seen you. You've done some other events, like you know, right by Ingram. That uh, what spot is that? Oh, you talk about Cable Speed. There we go. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I did a. Uh, I host that Cable Speed is my main spot where I host a lot of my community events. Uh-huh. We host our annual back to school event where we pass out over a hundred hundreds of bags filled with school supplies. We ain't did that over three years, going on our fourth year in 2024. And we also host our Trunk of Treat there, which is going on our fifth year in 2024. Damn. And it's getting bigger and bigger. And I also got incorporated with the Classic Street Nights. Shout out to them. There's a, a, a older class of gentlemen who, and females who who specialize in and collect old school cars and hot rods and, you know, keep them mint condition and drive them around and they come out and they come as a whole club and they host events as well. And they brought me into their toy drive. That was December 2nd. I first started with them last year around the same time. That was December 2nd. Uh, they collect toys and I help them out. We do that at K1 speed every year. This is my second year helping them. And we just donated our toys yesterday. You can find it on our Instagram. We took that over to the Children's Hospital. It's all on Facebook and Instagram. We donated so many toys. It was beautiful. They didn't know what to do with them. <laughs> I don't know where they put them at, but they got to find a big storage room. We don't, They got that many toys donated, and we brought them over. That's fucking awesome, bro. Yeah, we we trying our best, man. We One, one community leader at a time. That's good, man. It's good to see you. It's good to, good to hear all these positive things coming out. Yeah, I be. I mean, you you know how it is. Like, yeah. you know, you turn on the news, you hear nothing but this, that, this, that, shooting, this, that, shooting, this, that. You know what I mean? So it's good to hear something good come out. Like, it's refreshing. I'll be trying to help, bro, get more ideas. Like, uh, because he, uh, he, do, he do real good on his back-to-school projects and uh-huh. stuff. So I'll be trying to get him, like, Cause I'm, I'm more like, if I'm not in it, I'm I'm always gonna it's, it's always gonna sound like, you barely know what you're talking about with it. But I always wanted him like since he's doing so good in the back to school, I was like, maybe you should do some merch on some backpacks or something. But you got then he was explaining to me like you got to think about the material. People like to put a lot of back stuff in their backpack. If you get you get cheaper bags and stuff. It, and a lot of that cost, and like I be, I like talking to him about it because it's like, damn, he put me in that mindset. It was like, it's not as simple as it looked. Yeah, yeah, not at all. Yeah, he, he right on the money. It's it's not as simple, you know. In the beginning, is is dragging. You got to put them hours in, and you got to just hope for the best. Yeah, man, You're not gonna it, get the best. Yeah, man, it's 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 a gamble like everything else. Exactly, yeah. and it's like it's. Win or lose situation, but at the end of the day, don't nothing stop unless you let it. So if you feel like it's going to take you five years and you're in your first year, then don't don't cry about the hard parts because you still got four more. In them four years, you probably going to succeed way better than your first, your second, then in your third. And by the time you get to that fifth year of doing it, you – is gonna feel like you you deserved it because you put in that time. But if you gave up on that first year, just don't give up quick. Because if you give up on that first year, you didn't see nothing really through. So you don't know what could have been or what couldn't. Yeah, man. It's just power I, through for a while. I really like that. Don't give up. I like that. It just because because I don't know if you know me, I'll lose before I give up. <laughs> exactly. But yo, on the cool, I'm trying not to lose anymore. This is my well, seven. This is my seven day sober. Not by choice, but you know, I've, I'm, I'm, I, I'm liking it. I like being in control of myself. Like y- y'all know me, I'm a fucking party animal. Like I, I, I go hard when I start going hard. You know what I mean? When I, when I start drinking my French seven fives, you know, I, I go up to the bar, I, I chug two at a time. You know, shout out JC. Uh, <laughs> um. You know, and then after that, like, I just become an animal. Like, I just, 
I, I just go out of control and I'm tired of being out of control. I'm happy I'm in control right now. I'm happy, like, I'm just happy and it's wild. Like, I'm not used to being fucking happy. I'm so used to just being numb. You know what I mean? Like, I'm always so busy, just like, like, I'll make myself busy and then I just start fucking, I start in with my bullshit just so I can, like, be content with my bullshit, if that makes any sense. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm in, I'm in a great place right now and I'm really, like, I'm really trying to push this sobriety thing on myself. I mean, I haven't, like, <sighs> come on. <laughs> I haven't even smoked. I mean, I've been eating some weed gummies here and there, but I mean, like, usually I have, like, a bong, like, strapped to my fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> Say no face man. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm in a great place right now. I'm loving, I'm loving everything about life right now. Like, uh, even though it's like, you know, this is the most stressful part of the year. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, you find Christmas gets a little more stressful. Yes, yeah. it does. That's for everybody. <gasps> it's, I think it's in the air. They make it more stressful to make you spend money. You know, shop therapy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, like you know, I work. I work at a major retail store, and like, it's crazy because I feel like this year, it's just not hitting as hard, like retail wise. No, it's not. Even the Black Friday deals wasn't. Wasn't doing nothing, right? Like, nobody wanted to buy pre- Christ, pre- uh, Christmas presents early because everything is more expensive and less quality. What's everything is is, is not there no more. It don't nothing make you want to spend the money no more. Hey, remember when uh uh we have food at home was a thing? <laughs> uh, exactly. F- food at home is more expensive than eating out now. I swear. <laughs> nah, man, it's they really need to start. Throwing out, you know, everybody a couple of stamps a month, you know, just to get by for the holiday seasons at least, you feel? That's how That'd be nice, been. man. Yeah. Just, just enough, really? Enough to get you some Thanksgiving, enough to get you a, a Christmas uh, deal, I mean, a Christmas meal there for the whole family. Because, you know, a lot of people come together for the uh, holiday season. So it's usually probably more than five people in the house for the holiday <laughs> seasons. That's a lot of, that's a lot of feed somebody. It's cost 200 to feed yourself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. Come on now, they gotta help out just a little bit, but you know we got a um, 2024 election coming up, so everything is not looking. Oh man, I don't, I don't even know where to begin with that. I don't I don't even know what's real. Like we're gonna fall in another warm wormhole, and some another weirdo is gonna be president. Yes, <laughs> everybody gonna quote unquote uh, be on our side for everything. Everybody gonna try and help us and want to be the person that's on our side so we can elect them even though it's all a front just to you know, yeah, they show their color as soon as they get in yeah right it's everybody fin- they finna do a lot to show that they helping for one year then you know but it's finna get pricey too we're back to you real quick you from here no sir but I got love for my Texas people. I got love. Well, I mean, it's, love a, it's for a, my San Antonio. It's people. apparent you got love here. You know, you get you. I, I, how long you been here? I've been here since 2018. So you you've been able to come here. You've been here what five five years? Yeah, yeah about five five six years. Six, yeah. You, so you've been able to you've been out here six years and you're throwing these massive events. <laughs> that's amazing, bro. I mean, that's a, that's an accomplishment. It's, it's not just me doing it. You know, but everybody not just rallying under. What I do, you feel me? I wish I had the masses like that. It it, it took a lot of being in their face to where it's just like, he ain't going nowhere, so I know people going to pull up. Because <laughs> he ain't went nowhere yet. So it's obviously, you know, it's just common sense people will pull up. Because if I'm hosting, I've been hosting for this long, why, would, why wouldn't people show up now? It's not like the beginning. But it's, it's also the people. The people put out the word. The people share. The people let people know, yo, this... All top is hosting, so you know it's lit. You know he gonna control the scene. He gonna make sure everything is straight. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing too much. He don't got rules, but he got respect. So he's like, as long as y'all everybody respecting each other and respect him, what do we need rules for? Yeah, man, I hear that. Hey, but so so where are you from? I'm from Detroit, Michigan, three one three. Let's man. go. <laughs> Best weed I ever had was in Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> Hey, the Motor City, man. Cartier shout, County, man. Shout, I don't shout, got the buffs on right now, but they know what's up. My boys are uh, slow in rehab. They, uh, they, uh, we were sitting, we were sitting, uh, like, you, you know how, we, this was maybe like nine years ago. You know how it was in Detroit a few, you know, a few years ago? Yeah. 
the homies were like, they were growing out of their neighbor's bando, like out of the, the basement. Like I was, I, my mind was blown. Like you got the best foundation in the basement. <laughs> my mind was blown. Best weed I ever tasted. Better, better than anything I ever had. You know, in L.A. in Denver. It was, it was, it was pretty monumental. The homies and like one of the homies I see, like he makes wax and it's shit. Just looks amazing. Yeah, they, <laughs> they do it before it got legalized. We had. Uh, cannabis and dispensary stores before they legalized it. Really? Yeah, before before they made it recreational. Uh huh. You couldn't tell nobody what to do. They just started building them. Like it went kind of like how San Antonio is now with all the CBD and hemp stores everywhere. That's how we started first. Then those hemp stores and CBD stores turned into just dispensaries out of nowhere. So, so you're saying everything that's happening here is like progress towards something? Yes, sir. Okay, I see it. Okay, like not. A few, a few people can see that that move to Texas. Uh-huh. You know, Californian people, uh, a lot, of, you know, a lot of states legalized now, so they can, they all probably see the same progress was going on, especially with Austin. <laughs> Austin is wild and crazy. <laughs> yeah, you could tell it's gonna start with Austin out of any city in Texas first. Man, that city, that city is a little too much for me sometimes. It is, but it's the capital, and yeah. they're allowing it. That they gonna allow more. <coughs> Shit, what what else, what else you got going on, bro? <coughs> uh, um, right now we we kind of going in our off season after December sixteenth. We're gonna kind of go in our off season, <coughs> produce more merch and apparel, streetwear for everybody. We kind of fell behind this year because we had more events than usual, so we wasn't ahead of our merch and apparel this year. But as we go in our off season, we finna pump out a lot more. We finna get a lot more going. So when our next big show start up, we already have a whole new line for everybody to do what they need to do. And we can just take it far. That's more so what's coming up after that. We gonna kind of just wing it and get out there and vendor more. You know, we coming out to do more. So we got to come out and vendor more. We can't just host shows. We also want to vendor at shows as well. We also want to help out and bring people to other people's shows. We don't want to be the one who always. <coughs> we want to help other people's shows. We want to build people up as well. We don't. We don't need all the attention. We don't want all the attention either. We want a platform. We want to be connected in every avenue, not just in the car community. Not just in the 420 community, not just in the clothing community. We want to be connected with music. We want to be connected with venues. We want to be connected with clubbing, all that. We want to be connected in every avenue. So if you need help to get in the avenue, the movement got you. We got you. We're going to help you take off because we all taking off. That's the point of it. We, we, we want everybody to take off. Man, I, off top. I, I love it, man. And I know I know exactly what you mean. You know, I mean, you know, he, I've thrown the Lone Star Markets and you've, you've always come out and grace us with your presence. Um, it's 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 all love. Yes, sir. It, I wish I could be there for December 15th, Lone Star Market. That's popping out. Y'all make sure y'all pop out for that. Yo, I, like I said, I'm a, we're, we're putting I'm, I'm going to make sure there's a box there for you. That's like love. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna discuss it with everybody as soon as, as soon as we're done with this, I'm gonna tell them, yo, I'm gonna have a box for a toy drive for Off Top. Like he's doing a toy drive, you know. Unfortunately, I, I don't remember exactly like who you're doing it for. I know you said you're doing it with the church. Yeah, I'm doing it with True Vision Church <coughs> in Ackerman off the northeast side in Kirby, Texas. Okay, and uh, yeah, man, I, I definitely want to. I want to make sure you're represented out there because you've, you've always shown me love. Exactly. And I'm a, I appreciate that. Thank y'all. Um, everybody that help out with that, everybody that kind of help support that, we appreciate it. Even if y'all put one toy in there and y'all all come together for it, it's more than what someone else even did for someone else. It's, it's always more. It's, it's never would be less. Even if it's less, it's, it's still more. So yeah, that's real. We thank y'all for that. That's real. Man, I told you to bring your lungs. <laughs> and here I am dying. <laughs> I cannot Dang. wait to smoke again, bro. Shout out to no doctor needed. <coughs> hash <coughs> is the best hash in San Antonio, Texas. 
sorry to tell that to anybody else, but <laughs> thank you, doctor. No doctor needed. It's a fuck. It's, it's hidden. Let me see one of those real quick. Or let me see those real quick. What are these about? Talk to them. What are these about? They're they're infused with with high quality flour, and they got high quality tarp in there. Good wax. It tells you on the label which what flour and, and what strand it is, and it tells you how much is in there. I wish I was the person who did it. I could tell you more and talk to you more about it. Man, if you can, but just put me in contact been, with these people, man. Yeah, I would I, love for I would love to sit and talk to them about this. Man. No, I've been rocking with them since they kind of started. They have whole unit. <coughs> or if uh, you want, bring come, good. If you want, come back next month and bring them with you, bro. I most def, man. I talk to them, see if they busy, if they got free time. I know, you know, promotion is always good for anybody business, so. <coughs> I know they had make the free time, especially for your podcast. This is a good podcast to be on. So <laughs> I really they, appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, they had make the time, <coughs> and I vouch for that. Like, yo, get there, be there, promote. This would be good for you. They're going to tune in for sure. And he had come. they going to come and, you know, kind of talk more about it way better than I ever could. You feel me? And tell you more about it. Probably sample it with you. Hopefully, you better by then. Sample it with you, and you know, <coughs> they can talk about life in San Antonio as well, how it is, because they've been around and they ain't seen enough. They ain't been to other, you know, uh, four twenty uh, conventions yeah. out out of the state. You feel me? They they did what they need to do, so they kind of know what they're doing. They they specialize in what they're doing, so. I mean, it smells. It smells amazing, bro. Oh, like I ain't gonna lie. I got a little second hand. Like <laughs> that's that. Um, that's that. Uh, that tarp in it. That's man. That's, you've been coughing for me. I've been trying to control it. For oh life. yeah, man. Yeah, I just. I'm. I, I'm done. Like I didn't even touch it. Like <laughs> yeah, it got a little cloudy here, man. I ain't, I ain't watched the news today, so I ain't know how it was gonna get in here. But oh yeah, it got it got pretty foggy in here for a second. I was just like, oh <laughs> shit, <laughs> hell yeah. Nah, you know we have to come stank up the place with you. Mm-hmm. Oh jeez, Ooh. yeah. <coughs> Damn, I may have to cut it soon because man, I can't. I just... Yeah. I'm sorry, man. This man. Is, no, no, you good, you good. No, this sickness got the best of me. I, I probably shouldn't have done this today, but, man, I ain't gonna lie. One, I was really itching to get out and do this. Like, I wanted to sit down with you. I felt bad having to reschedule for last week. You know, I'm happy you were able to... I'm, you were so accommodating. I really appreciate that, bro. Um, <clears throat> I'm loving this, though. This is fun for me, man. Nah, this is fun for me. I haven't done this in two weeks. You know, I almost... I wasn't feeling like myself, and then, like, you know... All right, here, I'm going to let this one out of the bag because I feel like I got to let this out. So there I am the other day, sick as shit. You know, I I finally decided to go to the ER. You know, it's like 1030. I get back there like 330 in the morning. The lady's like, hey, Lewis, how have you been handling your diabetes? And I just fucking stared at her and I'm like, I'm diabetic. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. So yeah. do me a favor, y'all. Go to the doctor's. Get a little shot if you need to get a shot. Don't argue with the little viejitas about getting a shot, them taking your blood or whatever. Nessio, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, man, go get checked out. <coughs> you never too young to start. I take my vitamins and everything every day, man. My black seed, shout out to black seed oil. You get y'all some. It helps in everything. A teaspoon a day, keep the doctor away. I'm trying yeah. to tell you. For real. No, Lou, I want to give you something while we on air. Oh, what you got? Let's see, man. What you got? Got a little present for my boy Lou's getting cold out Ooh. there. So. Yeah, boy. Don't I'm pretty, I, I think I made that. <laughs> <laughs> Still got tag, you know, complimentary <coughs> decals as well. Fuck yeah. Thank you, bro. Heck yeah, man. Thank you, bro. Man, hell yeah, I got right with that off top gear. Got to. There, you can follow us at www.offtoptakingoff.com. As you go right there, that's straight to you, take you straight to our website. You can purchase all the merch you, you want there. If you see something, if you don't see something there that, that you know we have, just message us, call us, have you need to get in touch with us, email us. Our email is there. Let us know. We have, we probably just ain't posted yet, but we have it in stock. Or we don't, we get it made. 
we have it made or is already coming out, but I really don't want to ask that. But hey, where'd you get your chain? Oh man, shout out to Moses Jews. Man. I almost, <laughs> almost let this get away. Shout out to Moses Jews, man, for the chain. They did the chain. They did. They did everything. They did. They did it all, man. They did it all. Been one of our big sponsors and help out with a lot of events as well. Shout out to them. Shout out to. All. Shout out to Matt. Shout Matt, out to Matt, Matt. on and designed by Joey, man. Shout out to them, man. My so, boy's a kind. So when a, when a, one day off, off top, ask me if I can get some pictures of him. So I go with him to this jewelry store, Moses Jewelry, and. Uh, Behind the counter, I see a familiar face, someone I like went to like middle school with. <laughs> and man, my mind was blown for a second. I was just like, oh shit, it's Matt. Man, that was funny. Cause the last time I saw him, like, I, he was living in Austin. I was living in Austin. And like, I was drunk running away from like a party that had gotten <laughs> raided. <laughs> I you can, I, I swear I like I can't make this shit up. I always run into the stupidest shit in my life. Like, and <laughs> hey, that's how it be. <coughs> Sometimes time ain't on your side. <laughs> but you know, thank 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 whoever's up 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 top, to, like making sure I always stay alive. <laughs> yes, sir. <coughs> Real quick, if they wanted to get a hold of you, how do they get a hold of you? Again, y'all can get a hold of me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Only thing you got to do is type up off top taking off. It should pop up. Type in off top underscore taking off. It should pop up. You can follow us on any website, any social media link besides Twitter. <laughs> yes, sir. www.offttoptakingoff.com. Yo, Rick, you have anything you want to add? Nah, this is Grammy Reek, bro. But <laughs> shout out to bro for the uh, for the podcast. I appreciate him having me on. Yes, sir. Shout out to Lou. Man, y- y'all coming back next month when I'm better. <laughs> you know it, man. Hey, man. This is a great experience. You come, you guys so coming? We're gonna be doing this next month, <laughs> end of February. We're gonna do this. I'm, I'm, I promise. I'm gonna set it up. Man, they don't want me on here too many times. <laughs> I want you on here. <laughs> Shit. Um, I'm gonna bring my boys next time, man. No doctor needed. They coming. Hell yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. I really wish I was a lot. I really wish I was feeling a lot better so I could sit here and chop it up a little bit more. But uh, man, unfortunately, my breathing's starting to get the best of me, and uh, I can't put up with that shit no more. (laughs) (laughs) (coughs) Oh, excuse me. I appreciate y'all coming on tonight. I thanks for making the time. Thanks for sitting with me. Thanks for giving me high. <laughs> <laughs> this beanie's dope. I like this. Um, yeah. Everybody, please stay out of trouble. Go to the doctors, get checkups, do all that shit. Act like you care because we got to care. How we doing? Yeah, I'm done. I give up. <laughs>